the theories on human nature. In this video, we are going to talk about the three theories on human nature. Those are human person as an immortal soul, human person as a composite of body and soul, and human person as a thinking thing. Human person as an immortal soul. One important theory on human nature is the claim that the human person has a soul. Plato thought that the soul could and would exist apart from the body and would exist after the death of the body. He offered a proof for this position and was the first thing to do so in writing that we have any evidence of doing so. He offered several different proofs or arguments, none of which are convincing today. They are held to be specious arguments or terribly flawed and unconvincing. He held that humans were composed of bodies and souls, but the soul was more important and immortal. His arguments used premises which we question today. For example, Plato thought that he could conclude that the soul could exist independent of the body. This is no longer accepted as true since it is equally evident today that without a physical brain, thought appears unlikely to occur. Plato thought that the only way to explain how people come to know things is that they are remembering their knowledge implanted in their souls when the souls were in the realm of pure thought and eternal forms before entering into the body after which they forgot as they become confused by physical and failings and limited experience through the senses. This is no longer accepted as the best explanation of how people come to have knowledge. Nonetheless, Plato is credited with being the first human to attempt to set out and sort of a proof that humans had souls and that they survived the death of the body and that they were immortal. He offered these arguments in the dialogue he wrote titled The Phaedo. Human person as a composite of body and soul. Aristotle rejects Plato's belief in independently existing forms. There is something common to the things that share a concept X, but the essence, form, pattern, structure is embedded in the thing itself or is that the body and the soul is composite. He explained his analysis on the human person on his work De Anima. His theory is directed towards providing an account of the capacities which naturally included human persons. Although this work is usually called Aristotle's philosophy, it also involves relation between psyche or the so-called soul and the body. But before understanding the relation between the soul and the body, Aristotle distinguished the three kinds of substance, namely matter, shape or form, and product of both. The first substance is matter that stands for our body. Our body is our affirmation of the somatic aspect of human nature. The body has organs, it also has the ability to grow and decay. The next substance is the shape or form or the so-called soul. This is not the body but a form of a natural body that has life potential within it. This means that the natural body is ensouled, hence, body and soul is inseparable. For Aristotle, life is having a soul. Soul is the main source of human persons being alive. Without soul, the matter or the human body will not act because the soul is the reason why we are capable of doing activities like thinking, smelling, moving, and etc. And for the last theory, human person has a thinking thing. René Descartes also believed that the soul existed prior to and separate from the body, and so was immortal. In his view, all of reality consisted of two very different substances, matter or the physical 
and the spirit or the non-physical. The physical was what would be extended in time and space and the non-physical would not be so characterized. For Descartes, the soul of a human exists prior to and separate from the body. His proof consisted of argumentation that has been seriously criticized and rejected. He thought that if he could in some form demonstrate that humans can prove that they exist without first proving that they have physically bodies, then that would prove that they did not need a physical body in order to exist. He thought that his famous claim that, I think therefore I am, established not just that he existed but he existed without the body, as a thinking thing. A thinking thing is a thing that thinks and by that would be included imagining, conceiving, hoping, dreaming, desiring, fearing, conjecturing, reasoning, remembering, and more. For him, a thinking thing needed no physical parts to do what it does. There is much evidence that has been associated with Descartes' thinking thing is now explained solely in terms of the brain, physically structured and functioning of the brain.